I'm Peter Melios from the Finance News Network and today we're talking with Forbidden Foods. Forbidden Foods is trading under the ASX code FFF and has a market capitalization of approximately $3.5 million. Forbidden Foods is a health and wellness food company. Today, we're pleased to have with us Forbidden Foods CEO, Mr. Alex Alexic. Alex, welcome to the network. Thank you, Peter. Um, thanks for having me here today. No worries at all. So can you paint some color on the operations of Forbidden Foods? Yep. So um, Forbidden Foods was IPO'd circa three and a half, four years ago. Um, unfortunately, the first three years of its journey, um, the business hasn't traded well. Um, it's accumulated circa $15 million worth of losses in those first three years. Um, and that's where I sort of came in um, at the back end of June last year. Uh, under the guise that this was a, a, a transformation program. Um, the business runs um, a brand called Blue Dinosaur. Uh, we don't make the product. We, we run it through um, a, a portfolio of partnerships throughout Australia and the US, um, ser serving multiple different um, channels um, in those particular markets. Yeah, so Alex, you just mentioned that you guys don't make the product. Do you think you could outline the benefits of that for us? Yeah, correct. So um, the benefits are it gives us a bit more flexibility in regards to um, new products that we bring into the market. So generally speaking, um, our co-manufacturers are quite specific in what they can make. So having a diversity of you know different plant and equipment allows us to make different products, different formulations and recipes. So we're not just basically one style of product. You recently announced that you will acquire the issued capital of Good Oats Proprietary Limited, which is trading as oat milk goodness. Can you explain the significance of this acquisition? Yeah, it's a it's a it's a great business. Obviously, uh, co, you know the high, key highlight is it's been co-founded by um, former um, captain of Australian Test cricket uh, Steve Smith, um, which is great to have him on board uh, as part of the, the share registry. Um, it's definitely a category that's emerging at the moment. Obviously, health and wellness, um, people looking for um, alternate and healthy solutions. Um, it kind of fits into our wheelhouse under that whole health and wellness category. And can you explain the potential synergies of this transaction? Yeah, definitely. So the obvious one, because we, we both sit in the same health and wellness category, the better for you. Um, we share um similar distribution network so we have a distributor network that we believe we can basically help the omg uh product lines get further distribution into the australian market um we've obviously had some learnings trading in the us and we believe there's an opportunity to take that brand there as well and leverage that so how does the forbidden foods core range of the blue dinosaur health snacks complement uh the transaction yeah, so we, we currently have um, a range of about 22 different SKUs or bars and bites. Um, again, it's it sits in that category of better for you, whether it's um, just you know a generic, a better product for you, um, or sits in functional benefits. So as an example, um, one of our key uh, selling lines are the protein bars, which have collagen um, protein in them at the moment, which is um, highly on trend at the moment. So we have bars, we don't generally have a beverage. This kind of fits into that solution. So we now, we now, we're, we're now able to talk to that, to that consumer um, in that particular category and offer a food and beverage solution. So just to finish up, you mentioned tapping into the US. Obviously you've got this new product or new brand, I should say, but what are the next six to 12 months look like for the company? The next six months, um, the main focus is obviously integrating the two businesses together. Um, We've got we've got a sales force that they have a sales force. Again, we're dealing with a similar customer base. So there's no reason why the the existing blue dinosaur sales force can't sell OMG and vice versa. So therefore we've got a greater footprint footprint on getting the product out. Um, and again, just leveraging the network that we've developed over the last couple of years in the US. Um, we hope and see some success there as well with the OMG side. Alex, thank you for your time. No problem. Appreciate it.